it's a beautiful, chilly, wintry day here. Yeah. And we're gonna explore the city today. There's a beautiful fairy town. Fairy town, fairy tale like old town. <laughs> I need some more <laughs> That's coffee. A tongue Clearly, this one. <laughs> and we wanted to start here. This is called the Viru Gate. And I don't think you read this, but no. this was first mentioned in 1362. Whoa. Yeah, by name. So it's extremely old. And they still have the, the towers here. The middle part, unfortunately, is gone. Yeah. But they have a rendering of what they think it looked like. And there was a drawbridge. So this is at the end of one of the main streets here. We're going to walk all through the old town now. And you can just imagine that you're entering Talon for the first time through the drawbridge, up the street like we're about to go. I just noticed something quite funny. Yeah. <laughs> See this restaurant or bar is called Helsinki. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you notice what the street is right over there? The name? Hero? No, the other one. Sauna. <laughs> <laughs> How amazing. perfect is that? Absolutely fitting. Even a restaurant named Helsinki has to be on a street called sauna. <laughs> I would actually love to be in a sauna. <laughs> I know it's pretty it's like cool. Minus one degree. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Too perfect. <laughs> Finns love their sauna. Do you see what's just over here? What? It's the pood shop. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think they sell at the pood shop? Okay, I know. <laughs> I've seen this everywhere, but it means shop, store. Right. And it's pronounced pood, I think. Yeah. Good. <laughs> so they don't sell poop? No. Okay. We found Katarina cake. <laughs> that's how we're going to say I'm it. I'm sure that's how it's pronounced. Our Estonian is still... <laughs> Although it's actually very similar to Finnish. True. Which I didn't realize. Uh, not that much else is similar to Finnish. It's Hungarian. like Finnish light. Yeah. I think there are... <laughs> I can't remember if it's 14 cases. But anyway, totally... Crazy language. We digress. <laughs> we digress. <laughs> anyway. Katarina Kick. <laughs> and it's this old passageway that's sort of half hidden, connecting a couple of bigger streets. And the first property records here date back to the 1360s. That's like insane. that Viru gate that we just saw. Yeah. Which is like just amazing. <laughs> just totally crazy. And it's gone, you know, through a lot of different phases over time. And now it's this cute little lane where we can walk through and there are all these artists' workshops. So they're selling like handicrafts and glassware, you know, there's like glass blowing studios and all that kind of stuff. It's really cute. Yeah, it's very charming, very charming. This is the main square in Tallinn. The town hall is right behind me. You can actually go up that tower if you want to get a better look around. But we wanted to come and see something that we haven't yet. It's the oldest pharmacy in Europe that has continuously operated on the same premises. So this pharmacy has been in this place since 1422. Those are the first records, which is just amazing. And if you've watched our videos, you know how much I love going to drugstores. Oh my god. So seeing the oldest pharmacy in Europe is something I cannot pass up. This pharmacy has the national monument symbol. I don't know about you, but my normal pharmacy is not a national monument. Nor does it have doors like this. Oh, look at this. <laughs> so beautiful. All right, shall we go in? Yes. <laughs> History combined with going to the drugstore? This is so for me. Your best day ever. It's a good day. Oh, that's closed. What? Oh my god. 1.30 to 2. What time is it? Look, it's 1.30. Oh no. Okay. That is so sad. Okay. How about we go for lunch? And then we'll come back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't just hear. Went from perfect bliss to perfect anguish. So sad. <laughs> Can you see my heart broken? <laughs> that is seriously weird. What was really funny is I reached my hand for the door and I felt the click of the lock on the other side. So she literally was locking it as I had my hand on the door. <laughs> what a horrible feeling. <laughs> it's like. 
Okay, well that was a little bit of a fail, but we'll go back there. That was really funny. So now we're on a street called Ratuskevu, and we're going to one of our favorite places in town for some lunch. Where the pancakes are big and the prices are not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go eat. They better be open. <laughs> Closed Actually, for lunch break. It says open, and this is how you say the surname, Avatid. <laughs> I don't like your Avatid. I don't like your Avatid either. Actually, I really like your avatar. Oh, thank God they're open. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, it's so, so warm. Twice in a row. Oh, God, it's I hope we can get a table because last time there was no table. Yeah, true. <laughs> is known for their pancakes. They have other food, but you gotta get the pancakes here. They're enormous. They cost about five euros. They have sweet and savory. Mark and I both got the same. Oh yeah. This is with salami, pickle, and cheese. So good. <laughs> and so enormous. Yeah. And then to drink, this is something you really should try in Estonia. It's from Estonia. It's called Kali, K-A-L-I. Gorgeous bottle. This costs about two euros and it's made from fermented bread. It sort of smells like molasses and soy sauce. Do you think that's a fair way to say? It's very earthy smelling. It has an earth, it's a yeah. fermented smell. <laughs> and it's somewhere between pop, like a Coca Cola, and beer. Now, I don't like beer and I like this a lot. So we're gonna split a bottle of it. A little closer to root beer, I'd say. Yeah. So, love drinking out of the pretty glasses, obviously. And when I pour it, you'll see how dark it is. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. Bottoms up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that sounds like your dream. I'm a little excited. I know, half mayonnaise, half sour cream, which, which is also sounds Mark's like your dream. nightmare and yeah, my dream. Exactly. So I'm probably going to have his as well. This place is cheap, it's cheerful, it's open late, there's free Wi Fi. What more could you want? I almost did it. Need a little help here at the finish line. <laughs> Doing my best. <laughs> had my own though, so. <laughs> This man is full of pancakes. This is just disgusting. <laughs> Don't even show me this. <laughs> Did you say it's disgusting? Don't even show this. <laughs> oh, we're showing it. We're showing all of it. This man loves pancakes. <laughs> train is so cute. <laughs> I love it. It reminds me of Paris. I was just going to say that. Yeah. yeah just like the one in Mumbai. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so lunch was delicious. I'm full of pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> I like that place. It's like, get in, get your pancakes and get out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, I was going to say about Estonian food. We have been asking a bunch of people, you know, where can we go and get some Estonian food? And all the locals seem to say the same thing which is that Estonian cuisine isn't really a thing. It doesn't right. really exist because of their history. They've been occupied by other countries for longer than they've been free. Mm -hmm. And so there hasn't really been the time to create, develop their own kind of cuisine. So when you go to an Estonian restaurant, what you mostly find is German food, Russian food, mm -hmm. and actually what Nordic. somebody... Nordic. I was gonna say what somebody told us they feel represents Estonian food the most is to just simply go to a Nordic kind mm -hmm. of restaurant. Yeah. So you'll find a lot of those places around Tallinn too. So maybe it is the unofficial Nordic country. <laughs> yes, there's definitely an undercurrent of Scandinavian vibes. Totally is. Here, yeah. for sure, yes. <laughs> 
of course, as soon as I say that, we pass an Estonian restaurant. But there are tons around. It's just that when you actually look at the menu, they're kind of like this mix of other... Cuisine. It's like fusion. Yeah. I'm sure someone will disagree. I'm just telling you what locals have told me. Exactly. <laughs> This side does this not look just like Owen Wilson? Come look. Oh, yeah. Wow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> It's so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> I just love when you're walking around a city and you have no idea where you're going and you're like, hey, this looks interesting and you walk through and then there's a bed. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Looks like Hansel and Gretel's house. It's adorable. Take two. <laughs> <laughs> Back at the pharmacy, if I put my hand on the door handle and I feel that lock click, I don't know. Bottle I don't know if I can handle it. <laughs> I would need many more pancakes. Yes. <sighs> Let's go. Hallelujah. <laughs> What's really cool inside here is of course it's still a functioning pharmacy so they're filling prescriptions still but there's also a museum and they have all of the old kind of instruments that they used to use and the history of this profession and the mystery behind it and I think it's so cool that you know people have been in this apothecary looking out those windows at that square since at least the 1400s and there's a stuffed crocodile hanging from the ceiling and they had a stuffed crocodile in the same position in the medieval apothecary here and the idea was to kind of underscore the mystery behind this whole profession and also to keep the premises safe from thieves. If you climb up some stairs you can of course get a wee bit higher and get a nice view of the city from up here. There's also, if we turn, there's <laughs> that old wall behind us, and I don't know if you can tell, but you can actually go up and walk along there. There's also these three monks that were uh, installed only a few years ago. Yeah, they're quite new. They look quite ancient, but they're not. Yes. And apparently they light them up at Halloween and they look really creepy. Yeah, their faces. They yeah. have a Dementor vibe for they sure. They do. Yeah. <laughs> but just such a pretty spot to look down at the city. <laughs> cold outside so obviously we've come in to escape that a little bit. I'm gonna keep my toque on until I'm fully warmed but our Airbnb is right in the old town like smack in the middle of the old town so it wasn't far to come back. And I actually wanted to show you guys around because we have loved staying here. It's just wonderful and I will link it below if you're interested if you're gonna be in Tallinn. This is the living room and I think my favorite part are these crazy chandeliers. They remind me of like I don't know, winter bird's nest in Narnia or something, and also like a meringue. <laughs> you just wanna like eat them or something. They're so beautiful. The kitchen is fully stocked, which we really appreciate because we love going to the grocery store. There's one really close by and just cooking. There are three different ways to make coffee in this apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Did they know Canadians were coming? Very much appreciated. Yeah. Comfy couch, it's just been a nice place to relax and kind of, yeah, have our coffee in the morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we haven't only been drinking coffee here though, I promise. <laughs> We've actually been doing a lot of editing. Yes. At this lovely desk. Ta da! A view out the window. Yeah. And then down here, maybe this is weird, but I kind of want to show you the bathroom because I'm pretty sure this is the best bathtub in Estonia. <laughs> Look at this bathtub! Mark jokes sometimes that my criteria for choosing where we're gonna stay is basically Wi-Fi and a bathtub. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <kitchen>. Exactly. <laughs> Had some very good baths in here. And then across the hall, this is our lovely bedroom with another one of these lights, which is on a dimmer. Whoa, I didn't know that. <laughs> you didn't know that? <laughs> no. How am I only finding this out now? <laughs> 
Mark's learning something too. <laughs> learning things every day. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this has been a lovely place to stay, so I will link it below if you want to check it out. And hopefully you've enjoyed Look Around Tallinn today. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. There's Mark with the visual aids. <laughs> and subscribe for lots more travel adventures, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.